allows guys like Colton Mitchell to not constantly have to run the point. Gives you some more options and going to work. Trey Mitchell, his first. Bucket. Expert job by Walker, just splitting in the ball screen situation to help defend. Away from Trey Mitchell. Yeah, these Northeastern players doing a good job staying in their stances when the ball goes inside to Trey Mitchell. Mitchell will take a three, and it's good. Trey. We talked about in the open, Jay, being the alpha dog in the backcourt, which Northeastern has always had. Certainly Jordan Rowland in recent years. Mitchell trying to break down Doherty and... Mitchell to the free throw line, 73%. And terrific with the ball, a solid assist turnover ratio last year. Mitchell makes a move to the rim and a two-hand flush for Trey Mitchell. So capable. Take advantage here. And the offense will flow through Trey Mitchell. We've seen Doherty do a good job on him, trying to keep Trey out of the paint. He did. He pushed him off the lane very well right there. There's the up and under for Mitchell. Mitchell, and there's the steal. Trubilo tried to throw it down, and Mitchell said, no way. Garcia leaves it for Mitchell. He'll take the three, trailing. Indeed. Second three. A little hesitation for T.J. Weeks, and sneaks it by with that left hand. Missed the shot. Mitchell there on the offensive board. Swarms down low. Throws it up, and it goes down for Trey Mitchell. Mitchell with the two. Mitchell then with the three. And now Mitchell to the free throw line for an opportunity to add one more. You know, he's been quiet for a while, but right here he shows the pursuit of the ball and footwork. What this guy has shown in two years, his ability to keep a pivot foot and find daylight. And an efficient 17 too, Jay. Seven for 10 for a lot of folks exhaling as this thing tipped off, saying, finally, basketball (laughs) back here in Amherst. Mitchell. Up and under, and Trey Mitchell continued. Mitchell over Doherty. Missed the hook, gets it back. And gets closer, gets pushed from behind, and will get the bucket and head back to the free throw line. What great pursuit. Had a one-on-one move in the middle of the lane with Doherty. Shot over him with the left hand. You can see, then they don't box him out. And just has a nose for the basketball and those vice grip hands that we've come to expect from him and the great footwork and... It talked about with Northeastern. Didn't see his players to mid-September because of the restrictions on the Northeastern campus. Trey <laughs> Fernandes, but with the four fouls and limited time, 11 minutes. It's Mitchell here with the jumper. Yeah, he's still got it. Once again, back to back. And for the Minutemen, you've got four players in double figures, which is always something that Coach McCall highlights. Contributions, he had talked so much about them. The team that got into their press in this ballgame. Explorers having a little bit of a tough time getting going in this preseason. That almost feels like a game you have to win for the Minutemen. Oh, for sure, for sure. And Northeastern, same thing, although they have a couple of tough games coming up.